it's Judy here with My Life as Kikai. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look using the Zodiac Collection, which is made by Kathleen Lights in collaboration with ColourPop. And I'm so excited to use this actually, because I've had this for a little while, but I haven't had a chance to actually get into it. So I'm really excited to see what makeup look I come up with, because these colors are so incredibly pretty. This is the palette, the eyeshadow palette here. I haven't even taken the plastic off yet. It is actually brand new and I've only really just swatched a couple of the shades. But here's the twist. In today's makeup look, I'm going to try and use every single one of these shades somehow on my eyes. Or maybe some highlight or something. I don't know. I will try and use these somehow in some way on my eyes. I also have the two highlights that came in the Zodiac collection on the cusp and fire, no it's actually fire, fire, and I'm going to use those as well. I was wishing that the day I filmed this it wouldn't be cold so I can wear a tank top and I can use the highlight on my skin, but maybe by the end of this video I'll be warmed up a little bit, who knows, and then I can just like put some highlight on my color bones. These two luxe lipsticks are so pretty and they're so creamy and I'm excited to try them on my lips. And then we have the two supernova shadows which are actually so freaking pretty as well so I'm going to try and incorporate these in the look as well. I'm going to start with my eyes. I don't know exactly how much fallout will be in these shadows so I'm going to just play on the safe side and do my foundation after I do the eyes. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my eyes with an extra light concealer just so that the colors that I place on top of it actually stand out a whole lot more. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one's an OG and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids to prime. Okay, so I'm not actually going to set that concealer. I want the colors to pop a whole lot more so I have a feeling if I leave the concealer a little bit tacky then the colors will show up a whole lot more. So now I'm going to go into this palette and take the shade the Libra and apply that liberally in my crease. I'm just allowing myself to be a bit messy with it because I'm doing my foundation afterwards I can just like clean it up under my eyes afterwards. I'm going to take the shade the Sagittarius which is also my star sign. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm going to take that one and apply that closely inside the crease as well and not but not taking it up as high. Now I'm going to take the shade The Virgo with the same brush and just really lightly take that up over where I applied the Sagittarius and just very lightly apply that above the crease. These color pop shades always blend so nicely. With a larger fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade The Taurus. Really blow that one out up here. <laughs> <laughs> now with this smaller Morphe M213 brush, I'm going to go into the shade The Cancer and take that and apply that right in the outer corner part of my eye here and just really blend that down into the lash line, just on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take this tight packing brush and I'm going to go into the shade The Scorpio and pick up a fair bit of that product. And I'm going to give it a spritz with some setting spray. And I'm going to apply that to the whole inner section of my lid here. And I'm going to take it up above the crease as well. And I'm just going to take it up till right about here and stop there. Oh, these shadows are so smooth. They're applying like a dream. All right, now that I have those shadows down, I'm going to go into the shade The Gemini and pick up a fair bit of that as well, spritz it, and now I'm going to apply that just right here in the center of my lid, using that to join those two shades together. Now that I have those two down, I'm going to go in with this really tiny shader brush again, and I'm going to go into the shade and I'm going to go into the shade the Capricorn and just use that to really lightly blend these two shades in together. I'm 
I'm gonna take the shade, the Sagittarius again and mix it with the Virgo and just apply that back into the outer part of my eye here just to deepen up that a fair bit more. Now I'm gonna take the shade the Leo just on the absolute tip of it of the brush just so I only have a very tiny little bit there. Give it a bit of a spritz again and I'm just gonna apply that right in the absolute corner of my eye. Just right. I'm gonna redefine some of the Gemini again as well. This one here. All right, so that's the top part of my eyes done. I'm going to do my base off camera concealer, primer, foundation, all that jazz, and I'll be right back and finish off the eyes. Before I set that concealer with powder, I'm going to go in with the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade On The Cusp, and I'm just gonna take that on the Beauty Blender and apply that as a highlight on my face. So it's not a super blinding type of highlight, but there is definitely a luminescence there. So that's the shade on the cusp. I wanna take a little bit of that shade Fire as well and just layer some of that on top because I can. So this definitely is not a blinding glittery type of highlight which is very reminiscent of Kathleen because she doesn't like glittery, chunky sort of highlights. This is just more of a beautiful, glowy sheen on the skin. All right, now my concealer is creasing up a fair bit, so I'm just gonna smooth that out again and apply a bit of RCMA No Color Powder just to set that concealer, but I'm not gonna apply too much powder because I don't really want to bake under the eyes because then that makes my under eyes look a little bit too crepey. All right. That is really super pretty. Now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to go into the shade, the Leo and the Aries and take these two shades and mix them together and just top off the excess and then really buff that out in the inner corner here just to brighten that area up. I'm really gonna blow that orange Aries color out in my inner corners because I want you to be able to actually see it there. I love an intense inner corner highlight. So really, that's not much of a highlight. That's really more of just like, it's extending out where my eyeshadow is, but I wouldn't normally apply eyeshadow there, but I actually kind of like that. Okay, so with a small packing brush, I'm going to take some of that shade, the Pisces, again, and I'm going to focus that color right in the absolute center of my eye here. This eye look isn't quite coming out as I pictured it to be, uh, honestly, I don't even know what I pictured it to be, but um, it's okay. kind of like it. I'm just going to have to blend the edges here a little bit more. Kind of completely lost all of that, what was underneath, but that's okay. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to go into the shade, the Capricorn, and focus that really closely to the lower lash line and just stop right here in the center of my eye. I need to really blend that out, so I'm going to go into the shade The Aquarius. That's that nice pretty blue one there, and I'm going to smoke that out all the way under the lower lash line. Ooh, I've got a fair bit of fallout there. Can you see? I need a more fluffier blending brush, so I'm going to take this one again and go into the shade Aquarius and blend that out even more. I'm gonna redefine some of that purple. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the eyes for a bit. Don't know how I feel about them. I'm just gonna go into my bronzer. This one is the Morphe Brontour in the shade Vlogger, and I'm going to use that as a contour bronzer. I'm loving that glow though. Okay, now that I have the face officially warmed up, I'm gonna flush it up with a bit of a blush. And this one is the Revlon Blush in Naughty Nude. As you can see, I have really loved this one and I really need to get rid of it. It's actually a little bit old. Okay, so for the eyes, I have still yet to use the two Supernova shadows. And let's have a look and see what they are. All right, so we have the two Supernova shadows in the shades Astrology and Constellation. So I think this look calls for a bit of the shade Astrology right in the absolute corners of my eyes. Oh, that is pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. And I'm gonna take some of that shade Constellation 
and apply that in the inner centers of my eyes. I probably should have used some of this before I put the eyeshadow down, but eh. Yeah, I should have used some of that before I used the eyeshadow because now it's disturbing the eyeshadow, but that's okay. You live and learn. Next time I'll use that as a base rather than applying it on top of the eyeshadow. That's actually so pretty. It's got a few, few flecks of glitter in it, but I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that on my cheekbones. I know I've already applied a little bit of powder there, so it's technically a no-no, but I make my own rules. And that's why I don't make my own rules. Because it's not blending out. I'm gonna have to use my finger. Right, so if you're gonna use some of that as a highlight, you'll have to work really quickly before it dries. That just dried down in two seconds flat. And that'd probably also be because I had powder on underneath. But check out that glow though. So pretty. I'm gonna take some of that and give it just a bit of a touch on the upper lip there. Love those supernova shadows, they are so pretty. I am going to go in with a bit of eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have mascara and eyeliner on. I also took a little bit of that shade, the Pisces, and applied that right in the center of my lower lash line there as well, just to give the lower lash line a little bit more brightness because I was feeling it was a little bit dark with that blue and the Capricorn, these two here. I want to apply a little bit of under brow highlight, so I'm just going to go into that shade, the Scorpio, and apply that under the brow. Now I'm gonna go in with the Luxe Lipsticks, which I'm actually really super excited about. So these are the two shades here. We have Scorpio Moon and What's Your Sign? In fact, tell me in the comments down below, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. This one is the shade, What's Your Sign? And this one is the shade, Scorpio Moon. I'm going to use both of these. First, I'm going to go in with the shade Scorpio Moon and apply that all over the lip. Okay, so that's the first time I've ever used the Lux lipsticks on my actual lips. And while I feel the formula is really nice and creamy, it's also quite slippy and they feel like they won't wear for very long, but they are creamy lipsticks, so they're not designed to be long lasting. I don't think they even have that claim, but they're actually really nice and quite comfortable to wear. I'm going to go into that other shade, What's Your Sign, and apply that in the center of my lips. That's actually really gorgeous layered together. So I think I've used all of them. I've used the eyeshadow palette, I've used the two lipsticks, the two supernova shadows, and the two highlights, which is why I'm super glowy right now. I want to use a little bit more of that yellow astrology supernova shadow. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and I'm going to just tap that right in the center of my lips because, just because I can. I'm going to set my face with some setting spray just to get all of that to melt down together. And this is the finished look. I actually managed to use every single color every single shade, every single product in the Zodiac collection on my face. So I'm actually pretty freaking happy with myself. I know a lot of the colors in the eyeshadow palette didn't quite make it to the surface, but I do have every one of these shades on my eyes. I feel like the green, I would like that to pop a whole lot more, but I felt like the more I applied, the more it just sort of kept flaking off. I'm gonna try again. I think it's meant to be applied like directly to bare skin rather than layered on top of. To be fair, I have so many shadows on underneath it. So there's that. This is the finished look with the Zodiac collection on my face. So that's it for this video guys. I truly hope you enjoyed it. I actually had so much fun using this palette. Like I haven't really had a chance to dig into a whole lot of ColourPop pressed eyeshadows before and I kind of just stopped using ColourPop for a while because there were so many other different products that I've been trying. Sometimes I would just gravitate towards the same old, same old, but I'm trying to get out of that rut. You know, I'm trying to use a whole lot more products that I just have forgotten about and try to incorporate them back into my routine 
try different things, especially here for you guys here on my channel so I can tell you what, you know, what worked for me and what didn't work for me and maybe, you know, it'll help you out with your own makeup purchasing decisions. For me, I feel like the Zodiac collection was totally worth it. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a look I came up with using every single color in the palette. So, and not just that, every single color shade product in the entire collection is on my face right now. So that's it for this video guys. If you did enjoy it, please definitely give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Follow me on all my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of them are Life as Geek Guy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Apply that Libri, Libri, Libra, Libler, Lib, Lil, now I'm going to take the shade the Virgo Virgo Virgo. It's a Virgo. All right. What shade is next? <sighs> Just with my finger, I'm going to take the shade this bright beautiful orange shade here. Uh, not orange. I'm just going to take with my finger this bright beautiful corally What am I saying? Why can't I speak? <sighs> it's not coral. It's green. I'm just going to take with my finger this bright, corally... Oh no, f Why? No. Speak properly. Girl, Judy.